We're now moving up to the filters. Now there are a whole bunch of filters in here and we'll be spending the next whole big long batch, two big batches actually, of videos looking at these different filters. And I'll spend time on each one of these filters. Now the last filter that we actually used in the program here was the Adjust Sharpness filter. And whenever you use a filter, it's going to then place that at the top of the list. That allows you to then come back in and use it again if you, you need to. So if you're doing the same kind of thing over and over again, you'll always find your last used filter at the top of your list, which is a nice convenience. Next up here is the filter gallery. A lot of these filters, the artistic, the brush strokes, let's see, sketch, stylized, texture thing, all those, a lot of these are going to be showing up in the filter gallery. It's kind of a one centralized location to work with your different filters. It's probably an easy way to do this. About half of these, a little less than half of these filters don't show up in the filter gallery. Some of these will have very old style filter dialog boxes. They're, this has been hanging around forever. Some of these have fairly new dialog boxes but haven't been placed up in the filter gallery. Some of these just require real special boxes like the lens flare has a very special box. The lighting effects has a very special dialog box because it, these are very complex filters and need their own dialog box. So depending upon what it is, you may find it in the filter gallery or you may find it in its own dialog box. Camera distortion is its own kind of a thing. It doesn't really isn't really a filter per se. It's more of a an adjustment, an image adjustment or a tra image transformation. I'm not really sure why it's not over here under the transforms. Kind of seems like it really should be over here someplace since these do adjustments to a whole picture. But you'll find over here under the filter section. Okay, with that little quick intro, let's go ahead. We're going to move on and we'll start actually with the correct camera distortion in our next discussion.